Hey, so this is my second attempt of recording this video today now. The first one stopped because somebody was trying to call me. I didn't even know who, so it was on listed number I didn't recognize. But yeah, uh, I'm actually going to modify the ending of the last part I did because I was um, in a rush last part. So sorry for that, but anyways, uh, so this is part four. Let's get it on. So, the changes is we're still going to be at the USJ, but Deku did suffer some damage. Some fractured bones, but nothing serious. He had to go to the recovery girl. All Might is there. And so is Jiro. Because Jiro is worried about her best friend. Slash, uh, crush, so. But, yeah, obviously a secret crush. And Deku is happy to see them both there. And, uh, recovery girl says, Well, you didn't suffer anything too extreme. So... Some hairline fractured on your ribs and arms, so... How is that, anyway? I know your armor did block some of it, but not all of that. Oh, well, uh... I do a lot of training, and one of them basically helps my bones make it into... Like, hard as iron, so... It will, um, uh... Help with some strain, like that. Alright, but don't make it too much of a habit. I already have enough people coming here with injuries. So I'm thinking all the times All Might did have to come here, or anybody who fought All Might when he was younger. And, there, and Jiro left uh, after hearing that he will be alright. She said to Deku, like, I'll be uh, heading home now, I'll talk to you later. Deku said, all right, Jiro, I'll talk to you later. Hey, All Might, can you meet talk real quick? All Might is curious about what? He said, sure, kid. What is it? It's about one fall. I think I'm ready to accept your quirk. All Might is pleased, but curious on why the sudden change. Why the sudden change, young Midoriya? I thought you would want to see if there's anyone more uh, worthy than you for my quirk. Took his side and said, I did, but after what I had to do today, what I had to face, I decided that I need to get stronger. And I realized I can handle low tier villains. I knew I would probably not be number one, but that was never really my goal. And. I want to try to protect everyone I can now, even further. So, I thought I could, but clearly not. I I miss I would get seriously injured, and so if I had one fall, then I could have possibly protected everyone. So, All Might, will you allow me to be a, to be the next successor of one for all? I understand if you don't think so now. So, All Might is pleased with his answer, and he said, Young Midoriya, from the moment I met you, I never thought you were never worthy of my quirk. Matter of fact, now that I'm seeing you, uh, how you are now, and admitting that you need to get stronger and wanting to protect everyone, you have a true heart of a hero, kid, so... You are definitely worthy enough to have one for all. Deku is happy as he can be to hear that All Might still thinks he is worthy even after this fight. So thank you, All Might. How does it, so how do we do this? Deku has been thinking like, oh man, how is this gonna be? Like the coolest thing ever. Like maybe I have to fight some uh. Like the previous wheel is a one fall in a mental state, or like some type of lightning strike, or something cool. All Might reaches up to his head and pull a hair. He said, "Eat this." Deku questions it, like, "What?" Is that? Are you serious? I have to eat a piece of hair? 
Yes, young Midoriya. You have to digest some of my DNA. This is the better alternative compared to drink, like, absorbing some of my blood. Or um, other so, ways, I guess. Alright, I should then suspect this. I suspected, like, lightning strikes or me fighting previous wielders of one fall, perhaps. Alright, I'll eat it. He does. I don't really feel any different, all my. Well, we'll have to digest, so I'll talk to you tomorrow, young Medoya. So, meet me at Dagaba Beach. So, oh, the place I trained for the 10 months? Yes. So, I feel like we can go and visit there again. After all, it is the point of your start of your training and the start of me cheap training you. So, they get the clear from uh, recovery girl to go, and Deku is now at home. He started to relax, and then realized, like, wait, it's going to be on the USJ attack is going to be on the news. Uh oh. He then realized his mother will be coming to see if he's all right, and as soon as he thought that. The door slammed wide open with Mandalay running towards him, checking, like, Oh my god, are you okay? Ch checking all over his body, seeing if there's any scars, scratches, any fatal, like, wounds. And then he was like, M Mom, how did you get here so fast? Mandalay said, Honey, I can, you should know that by now. I will do run as fast as I can to you to rest, to make sure you're all right. Deku's like, oh yeah, fair enough. Uh, but sir, hey, but you didn't have to come all the way over here. Of course I did. You're my child after all. But have you eaten yet? Uh, no, I haven't. I just got home actually. Wait, have you eaten yet? Because I kind of think you just ran out as soon as the you heard the news about the USJ. And um, she's like, yeah, I left like when they was thinking about dinner. So I told them I was going to see you real quick because of the attack. And yeah, so. Yeah, so they got decided to eat at her his house. She is now checking up with Deku, seeing how this or that, or have you gotten a girlfriend yet? Deku, like, oh, like girlfriend? No, not yet, really. That's it. Like mentally chuckles, like, oh, my sweet baby boy, when will you ever get? So starts to um, think about that type of stuff. So, jokingly, of course, like, well, uh, I've been thinking about asking one person. Mandalay's eyes widen, and I'm like, who is it? Do I know her? Or, so, like, so, now I'm more curious, and I'm like, oh, I think I know who it is. Is it that Jiro girl? Deku blushes, like, uh, uh, maybe. Meh, the, like, all happy and gay, like, oh, my baby boy has a crush. How, how fast can you grow in front of my eyes? Just being in, like that type of mother, like, mom, chill. I said I haven't thought, I haven't, I have been thinking about it, but I'm not sure if Jiro likes me like that. And the lady starts to get all serious. I'm like, honey, you're dumb if you think you can't have a chance with her. What? what? Yeah, so. You, so I see how you and Jiro look at each other when you're not, when you're by yourselves. And I also know that you have great qualities. You're kind, you're strong, you're resourceful, and you do cook pretty well. And you care about others. Those are a lot of good traits to have on one person. And... So, and I know Jiro so notices qualities about you. 
And that guy's a thinking about, yeah, I, I guess. But am I really enough for her then? Man, the lady goes up to Dagon and hugs him and saying, I know that you don't think you would be worthy enough for, like, to have that type of relationship. So I know you do still think about why your mother abandoned you like that. And I'm not sure either, honey. Just so know that you're a great kid. And soon enough, you will be a great husband someday, too. Deku blushes and, like, thanks. And says, smiles, like, thanks, Mom. Hugs her back. Mandalay left after that. And Deku just kind of sat there, like, thinking, like, should I act so soon enough? And Jira is somewhat having a somewhat similar questions in her head, like, does Deku like me like that or whatever? And such. She says it's not ha she hasn't told any of the other girls. It's so bit too early for that. Like she has that type of trust for the girls, so But yeah. After that So it's the next day. Deku goes to the Degoba beach meeting All Might. Oh my said, all right, young Midoriya, I want you to throw a smash towards the ocean to see where you're at. Like I said, uh, all right, all right. And, oh, and young Midoriya, you might want to monitor rate the power. I would try maybe 10% for now. See if that's a bit too strenuous or not. Or if you think you can handle more, pump it up a bit. He said, all right, all right. So he does. He starts to put, what is a good number? I'm going to say like 30, maybe 40%. Yeah, let's say 40% is like his max. So, yeah, he does a 40% smash. It doesn't strain the muscles as much. It does like a tad bit. And All Might is surprised, like, he can already do a 40 pen cent smash pretty alright. But he does notice, like, Deku's gripping his arm a little. Like, Young Midori, are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. I think that's my max at the moment. It's 40 per cent. It's not break, it's putting any strains on my bones or anything, but it is putting strain on my muscles. So I think I have to lower it down to 35 per cent for right now. Or at least to 30. But it felt off to me too. I'm wearing this case like, what do you mean, young Midoriya? Well, so it felt like I needed to not put it in one ligament, but all throughout my body. I would like to try it again, if you don't mind. Um, my said, sure, and actually, sub like, happy that Deku is this smart to figure out like he needed to put it throughout all his body. Because in canon, All Might is not that great of a teacher. But he's alright. He's just not that great, I guess. So, but to be fair, the best teacher doesn't give the answer. So, like, it balances out, I guess. Like, he still needed to say, give that a hint or something like that. Like, he never really gave a hint, like, it's nothing special. You should need it to see it as a quirk, not as something special like that. Then if he said something like that, I think Deku would have figured it out earlier, but, you know. So Deku is hella smart. He's Taskmaster. So Deku does make it go throughout all his body, and throws this time a 30% smash. He knew that it would put more strain on the body if he did 40%. Automatically. So 40 is his max. But he does 30%. And yeah, so Deku got full cowling. On the spot. All Might is happy to see like his successor is already learning so fast. And that this is definitely the right choice. 
Not only that he's super smart, but he has a heart of a hero. It's what all my thought process is right now. As such, the day goes by him training with one fall, just getting yet used to going through his body. So, practicing his fighting styles he has learned over the years. His some uh, other with his shield, the claws he has with his costume. Because I'm going to say he does have like prototypes of those at his house. He has made himself, which are pretty good prototypes. So good that he actually put the vid, like other prototypes in the armor he made himself. Like the support course went over it and said it was all good. Matter of fact, like oh. Like, like power loader said, this is impressive work. Who made this? This is a little flashback, and like, oh, uh, I made this. I had a, uh, I learned how to make them all myself. I was like, hey, kid, if hero work doesn't work out for you, give me a call. I would like you to join the support course and whatnot. Okay, <laughs> like, all right, I will think about it. But yeah, no, so that's just a little quick flashback of why he's also, how he got his hero gear with him. But yeah, it is the next day. So, uh, Gio does talk more to the other girls. Uh, they started building more closer friendship. Like, they had an alright start with their friendship, but now it's getting more closer. Series more like I wonder who will be the who will be our substitute while Azara is gone. Azara comes in all bandaged up, hurt. Not as hurt as in canon, like his face isn't bandaged up, but all the way like part of his like one ha- one side of his face where the left wherever that scar was on his below his eyes, that part is bandaged up, like that part of the eye is. The other half is not. Quiet down, class. So, everyone's wondering why he's there. He has the same explanation. And then he says, your fight isn't over yet. Everyone gets worried. Deku's like, really? My, there's more villains already? I barely have, like, gotten used to one fall completely, but I will, but now I have the power to back it up. Eraser some had simply said, UA Sports Festival is coming up. So start training. You got two weeks to train and Yeah. They all get excited. Deku is happy that he gets two more weeks of training with his with one for all. And so that's about everything goes the same to Canon. Like everyone's just talking, stuff like that. They were talking about what their training going to be like. Deku simply said, like, I'll just be training on my body again. And so I think I figured something cool out about my quirk. Because I'm going to say his quirk name is Super. So, like, he never really... I forgot to give it an actual name. Like, it was just... said it was a simple boost quirk. But, yeah, it was just called Super because it did give him Super stats. Everyone's curious, like, what do you mean? Like, he said, look, well, after the USJ attack, I think I've unlocked something. Um, so, I'm willing to, I'm going to be testing it out for a while. So, and he told Jiro, like, do you want to train with me and whatnot? Jiro, like, has a light blush on him, like, sure, said Midoriya. So, train at your house, as usual? Yeah, I'll see you there. He leaves. And Gio gets pulled aside by Mina and some of the other girls. And, like, what is your relationship between you and Midoriya there? She be like, uh, well, we, me and him are best friends, so... And he does live in my neighborhood. So, and such. So. He's like, nah, I think there's more to you guys' relationship than you guys are leading on. Mina guess, like... Do you have a crush on him or something? She blushes, like, more of a, like, uh, no, 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 like, so trying to deny it. So, Mina just grins, like, sure there. You know, he, he is a good catch, you know. 
I wanted to see why you wouldn't want to, you know, I see why you like him a lot. Yeah, like, yeah, he is a good catch, and, like, this is all in my mind, by the way, so. And, like, and, so, I hope, like, no other girl will try to go after him and such. So she thinks he needs to make a move, like, some point. It's just some, you know, spice, just on it, some drama. And, yeah, so... The two weeks gone by, everyone trained, Jiro and Deku trained, and he did do one fall during one of Jiro's fight, and between, like, their sparring match, and Jiro like, whoa, wait, what is that? He said, oh, uh, I think I unlocked some part of, new part of my quirk, it gets, it gives me a more better boost than the already physical boost that I have. And, yeah, it's, it shows up like this. She's like, oh, that's cool, and whatnot. Like, the old quirk is more flashy now than, you know. It, yeah. Unfinished, he, he, like, he is lying, obviously, like, but it is somewhat hurting him to, like, lie to his crush and best friend. Not, like, visibly, but it's still, like, I so don't want her in danger and such. And she's thinking, like, hmm, this power is different from a regular boost quirk I've seen Midori have used. Says, so, I'm... No, he... I think he's lying about something, but I don't want to poke and prod. So, if he's ready to tell me, he's ready to tell me, so... That's her mind, to said by now. But yeah, now, back to, to the sports festival beginning. The... They were all getting ready in the locker room. Todoroki goes up to Midoriya and say, Midoriya, I'm, I'm declaring war on you. I'm going to beat you with only my eyes side and such. And I want you to give it everything you got against me. Oh, really? You want me to give it everything I got, even though you and I are doing the same? That's insulting, man. So, he just walks out after saying that. Todoroki's, like, mad, like, like, how dare you, like, say that to me, I'm, because I'm the best student, like, I'm the strongest student here, or, like, something like that, I'm not sure, I'm just guessing something like that, and Bakugo saw that, too, like, like, that half and half bastard didn't even see me as worthy, so damn him. Todoroki wasn't, like, was gonna get to Bakugo at some point, but that interaction with Midoriya in general just threw him off a bit and just got him mad, so he didn't even bother with Bakugo. Like, alright, I'm just, I'm gonna end this man's career. Like, that's his thought now. So, yeah, Midnight is up on the podium. And so, will the class representative uh, come up here? Is the Zuku Midoriya. I believe I got, is like, Deku got him first place, if I'm not wrong. If not, then it's Bakugo, and Bakugo does the same thing as in canon. But if it's Deku, because I do need to look back on that. Deku, we like, hello there. Like, uh, first years of UA. I am honored to be up here today to give the speech. Such, I will make it short, and to say, give it everything you got. I know I will. So, let's show the world that what UA is all about. So, go beyond. Plus Ultra. And some people were cheering. Like, so, it was nice, short, and sweet. So, yeah, some people were cheering. So, 1B is not, and, Sh- and Shinzo is not either, so... But yeah, like some of the other like general studies and support course students are clapping at that. Some of them, not all, because you know Baku did declare war on them. 
First, it is the tunnel, like the obstacle course race. Everyone's getting ready. Deku already knew, like, he already thought of, like, what's going to happen. He analyzed, like, the situation. Like, it is a narrow tunnel, so if Todoroki is smart enough, he will start to freeze the tunnel away when everyone rushes there. So I think I'll hang back and wait until that happens, then make my move. So he does. And so, so as Deku predicted, he, the Todoroki did. After that, Deku made his move, jumping on the side of the wall, running on the side of it, and just doing some general speed. And he is using a bit of one for all, like 10% I will say. He wants to show the world what he's made of. That's, he is just doing some, like, good moves, like, just running on a wall and jumping to my, the side to side, with using one for all. One, A is like, wait, what is Deku doing? We didn't see him do this before. Because, he is, like, because, you know, one for all is new to him, so, but he already got the, he already mastering it. And he can actually combine some other hero's techniques to that method. He's seeing Gran Torino and a bit of Bakugo. Look how Gran Torino has to jump all around, dodging stuff. So that's basically what he's doing. So now he charged it up to 30%. He only did 10 to like, help him get through the tunnel way because it's still somewhat narrow and it would be too fast for him at the moment because it is still new but no nah, I'm still going to stick it to 10 actually he doesn't want to exhaust himself me positioning there we go so yeah now he's catching up to Todoroki Todoroki is like, like I knew he didn't get uh, frozen, but he shouldn't have gotten through that fast. That's now Todoroki is just shooting some ice like on the ground to make Deku slip up. But Deku is simply jumping it, dodging the ice, and just all in all, just doing some sick moves. Deku is getting closer to closer to Todoroki. Bakugo is catching up from behind, and yeah, all that. Until they get to the robot. Todoroki freezes the robots to make a bl- like block the path behind them. But Deku just jumped on the other zero pointers. Just going like getting past all of them and does a smash on one of them to show how much stronger he has gotten. Showing the world what he's made of. The and the wild wild pussy cats are watching this and they're like, Holy cow, like how how did he get this strong? He must have done some serious training. Mendeley is like, that's my boy and whatnot. Like that's my son. And Coda's still also watching, like go De- like go Izuku and whatnot. Like that's my cousin. There. Because, yeah, he did, Deku did help him with his uh, issues, and compared to canon. He still doesn't like people, but he will tolerate people to an extent. Bak, go, go, hell no. Just some foreshadowing in the future. But, yeah. And Deku did get one support item, like, they did allow him to get one, but so to show what else he can do. So, Deku decided to get his, use his shield. Captain America in it, basically, like, running like he, Captain America does. And when it gets to the type rope, he, Deku should use his shield to glide, like, not glide across, but, like, grind on the ropes itself. Like, if it was a skateboard. And because of that amount of speed he's getting, he actually passed Todoroki eventually. Now it's a minefield. Deku's looking around. Alright, I got a plan for this too now. 
he starts to dig up the mines with his shield. So Todoroki goes around like, what is he doing? And the others start to as well. Till he gets enough mines, like, okay, if my math is correct, which it always is, this should be enough momentum to give me a pass. So he runs, says cannonballing it with his shield in front, and massive explosion leading him towards more the front. Passing Bakugo and Todoroki and heading straight towards the finish line. Like closer and closer to the finish line. The shield starts to land, sledding him across. And once it starts to slow down, he does a flip to get himself up with his shield in hand and start bolting it. He goes beyond his max now. 45%. Putting more strain on the muscles and start to strain some of the bones a bit more too. Just, he made it pass. But he is tired though, so... So... Todoroki gets second and Bakugo gets third. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna second do that. So, yeah, everyone gets started getting there. Since all of 1A starts reacting like... What was that? What, so how did you do that and whatnot? Turkey simply said, well, after the USJ, I kind of unlocked that. So my boost can give me a more better boost of speed, strength, and such. Not only that, it can, manip- it can make it look like lightning coming off of my body. But I can't really do anything with that. They all are impressed. Like, his boost quirk is more flashy looking now. And he, someone can even manipulate the wind, it looks like, too. Because when, De- when Deku did punch his ear point it, there was a massive gust of air coming around it. Like, that punch. And um, Todoroki Sasuke and I, like, he's, like, almost like All Might now. And, yeah, so. And so, it's, it's a cavalry battle. Not a whole lot of people want to be on Deku's team. Mostly due to the fact that He's strong, but he still has a 10, 10 million points. Jiro joins his team because that's his best friend there. Kirishima, I'm going to say joins the team. It's like, yeah, no, you man, you're hella manly and uh, such. And I would be happy to be on your team. And it's a thing. And he decided, like, we only need one more person. And he gets Tokoyami. And yeah, so it's similar to canon. Two people are replaced with two others. And yeah. Yeah, the cavalry battle starts. Uh, the rider... I'm gonna say it's Jiro. Like, yeah. Deku's up front. Kirishima is on the right, and Tokoyami is on the left. Deku said, Alright, Kirishima, you will guard us from the right, and make sure no one gets to us. Tokoyami, you will... Actually, no, wait. Tokoyami will be up front. He already made a plan, like, Tokoyami, you will attack from the front and from the far range. And I will attack from the left side. And we'll just keep it like that for a while. So, yeah, they do the battle. So, as almost same to canon, like they have it for a while until Ida starts to use the simple burst. But Deku already anticipated like Ida could go faster. He knows he's the brother of Ingenium, and I would say Ingenium does have a simple burst. Like this, like they're both brothers. So he like if he had if like Ingenium had it, then possibly like Ida had it. He said. And he made a plan for, like, he said, Tokoyami, now, nah, boost us up in the air. So, like, t- Dark Shadow should push us up on the ground. Deku jumps in one fall to help that, too. Dodging Ida. Ida, like, what? How? I never did this move before. Deku, I figured that you had your brother's technique with several bursts. 
So I, so I anticipated this just in case. I analyzed everyone's quirk and abilities compared to other heroes, and if they copied it too. And yeah. Also, if you're wondering who's on Bakugo's team except for Kirishima, I'm gonna say Tetsu Tetsu. Like, Tetsu Tetsu. Like, just say, like, hey, I know I don't like you and such, but I have hardening. Like, Kirishima's hardening, so. Oh. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like, Tetsu Tetsu will be in there and such. And yeah, the and after all of that, the timer goes out. So who's on the like, Deku gets first, Todoroki. This time I'm gonna say get third because I'm gonna say Baka did get a bit more points. Like he felt like that damn nerd probably thought of a good plan food to stop my team and whatnot. And I don't want to get my points stolen. Cause I'm gonna say Deku did steal one of his headbands while he was jumping. Just for the hell of it. Showing Todoroki like, if you don't use your full power on me, then you're gonna lose. Making Todoroki more mad, like, he's drawing more connections to All Might than him. So, Todoroki does confront Deku, like, are you D All Might's secret love child? Or not? Deku said, I'm not. Honestly, I was abandoned when I was. Nothing more than a couple days old. Only reason why I know this because I have perfect memory. I remember when I was abandoned. And I don't. And I know my fa. I know who my father is. So I had a. I looked him up. So no. All Might is not my father. But what makes you think I am? He gives the same explanation, like, because you have a quirk similar to his, whatnot. Deku's hella smart and knows how to talk with people to throw him, them off guard. So, well, I'm not, so. There. And I'm actually doing some events that's happened before, more ahead of time. Just to let you guys know. But yeah, so. Everything goes the same, like. Ojiro and that one other guy surrendered, like, dropped. He did warn Deku, and the battle with Shinjo and uh, Deku happened. Like, all the fights that happened in canon with, ba like, the more opponent fight, like Bakugo versus Umaraka, happens. Todoki fight happens. And just for the hell of it, Tetsu Tetsu's and Kirishima fight still happen. So, Deku and uh, Shinzo. Shinzo is just spatting uh, insults after insults, even trying to insult his classmate, but Deku's not having none of that. He no he's smarter than that. He can check his motions better than anyone else. So, to an extent, like, but yeah, so, he says, like, goes up to Shinzo and just gut punches him. So, sending him flying out the ring. He's a bit of one for all. I'm gonna say 5%. He doesn't want to hurt him severely, so. After that, uh, the fight between Bakugo and Maraka wins. Bakugo wins. Todoroki's fight with Sero. Sero loses. And Todoroki wins. Uh, now, the fight between Todoroki and Deku. So, it starts. Todoroki uses his ice, but Deku uses, like, calculated how much power that ice actually has. So he does the appropriate amount he knows he needs to do. I'm gonna say, like, 20%. So, so that might seem low, but as, but I don't think Todoroki is as mad as in canon. But at the same time, like, it could be. But I'm sorry, going to stick to the save to say 20% smash. After that, Deku just bolts towards Todoroki. 
Todoroki tries to use Ice Barge after Ice Barge. Deku knows, like, if he... To- does, like, if he Todoroki uses his flames now, then... It will be... Like, he's calculating, like, should he help Todoroki use his flames now, or should he tell him this after he loses, or whatnot? But yeah, he smashing all Todoroki's ice, hits Todoroki a couple of times with some of his, like, some moves. I'm not so sure what specifically, but Todoroki does get some flying, almost out of the ring. He does use his ice, like, then Deku decides, like, okay, I think I've decided on my decision. I'm going to help Todoroki even if it means I lose. There's a probability of chance of losing for that 10%. Like, to, like, not 10%, like, like, uh, 70 Five percent chance of me losing if I do this, and or like fifty percent chance. Like it's half. Like if he didn't do it before, he would like, cause he doesn't know if Toto, how skilled Todoroki is with his fire. Let's say, so he can't account for his fire quite well. And then he does the same speech as in canon with Todoroki. Like it's your quirk, not his. And it's, like, illogical to think that. Todoroki remembers his memory and does his fire. Deku is like, okay, now. Now the real fight begins. Deku powers up to 40%. And the fight goes similar to canon. They get to the final moves. Deku, realizing this move will most likely knock him out if he doesn't do anything. So, he... I'm not so sure what he can do for this one, but I'm going to say before the moment of impact, he jumps as high as he can with one for all. And he nearly dodges the attack. He is so high up in the sky right now. No one knows where he's at after the attack lands. He's like, where is young Midori? Like, where is he? They look up in the sky. See, he's slow, like slightly falling now. And Deku does a perfect landing to, like, a superhero landing. Landing perfectly in most epic manner. And everyone's like, holy cow, how did he dodge that and whatnot? Like, he is badass and whatnot. Deku said, well, Todoroki, this was fun. But I think you're out of energy now. So, I'll say... So, he goes up to Todoroki, says, no, it's a person in the because Todoroki was at the edge of the line, I think, and Todoroki falls over out of exhaustion, and Deku was declared a winner. Now, I was think now, fuck it, I have enough time. Now, it's a fight between Bakugo and Deku. All the other fights, doesn't matter, really. And De- Baku is like, I've been waiting for this a long time, nerd. So it's about time you even got a rematch. So, think he said, can I agree more, Bakugo? For what it's worth, I did suspect you to be up in the so finals. You do, I'm not gonna lie, you do have a good chance of winning. That's somewhat of a good chance of winning. Bakugo is like, Happy to hear that. Like, he, his calculations are never really wrong. So, Baku is not stupid. He knows that Deku calculates a lot of his fights. And most of the time, he does win all of his fights like, with those calculations. And hearing that he has a small chance of winning does upset him. But also makes him, like, grin. Like, they will just make it more sweeter to win, then. So, the fight begins. Deku has no support items either way, though. He doesn't have his shield, his claws, his arrow scarf, his bow and arrows, and his guns. Although, the bows and arrows are more or less for stealth-based jobs or missions, so... Like, yeah. 
So they are fighting. Deku is nearly dodging all of Bakugo's explosions and his attacks. Bakugo the same. The fight is intense. Deku throwing blow after blow and Bakugo as well. And Deku's shirt is like not like st- like burnt a bit. Like from those explosions. Like, like yeah, my well. So I was gonna so this is not gonna work anymore. It's basically a rag at this point, so he's just ripped it off. Shiro blushing to see like how muscular like Deku really really is. Yeah. So some spice right in there. And all the girls are looking too and from one A like Ooh, he he's pretty just like buff and whatnot. <laughs> like like so we see why Jiro now likes him a lot. And then I'm noticing like all the girls are eyeing him he's like that lucky bastard. But yeah, no. So the Barky like I had enough of this. How would the impact? Deku wasn't really suspecting this, but he does try his best to manage it. He the uh, he ready to press smash like one for all. Forty percent, Detroit, smash, and both attacks collide. Bring them both out of the ring. It is a tie. De- Bakugo knocked out, and Deku, not knocked out, but out of the ring. So it still counts. And such, they both have to share first place. Todoroki doesn't get second. He has to share that placing too. Like, but whoever would have won would have, like, got him first place. But whoever would have lost would have got second. So, yeah, no, I'm sure going to say Todoroki does boost up to a second place. Like, to- like Tokiomi is on the third place podium. And, like, to- well, not Todoroki, but Tokoyami is in third place podium while Todoroki is in the second place podium but still getting a third place medal. While Bakugo and Deku splits the first place medal. Like, I am proud to see these two young heroes do so well and such. Bakugo isn't mad that he like ha- he lo- lost but he didn't see it as a loss. He saw it as a good like challenge. And him and Deku decides to patch things up after, like, Yo, man, I know that I, Yumi got tied for first place, but don't think that next time we'll be like that. I'm going to get first place next time. And I hope Yumi can patch things up. I see your strength now as great as mine. Deku's happy to hear that. Like, Same to you, man. They shake hands and in agreement, like, they will pass, start to patch things up. There will still be some issues here or there, but still. And that is where I'm going to end it off, actually. So, yeah. Uh, tell me guys what you guys think. Uh, and I will be... Like, I think I will be doing my What If Deku Was The Oxus Part 2 video today. At some point. Like, I'm not so sure. But yeah, so talk to you guys next time.